Well, these built-ins are pretty common in the houses built in the 30s and the 40s. It's a great place to store your wine glasses, dishes, and even your drinks. Uh, and I see that the, uh, yeah, these drawers slide a little hard, but what I think we can fix those up a little bit. And you have some chips on the corner. Yeah. Well, I think we can fix those too. Yeah, that'd be great. That'd be perfect for us. All right, let's get some tools and we can get started. Sounds good. All right, there's the first drawer right there. Wow, that's it? It's pretty simple. It's pretty simple. I mean, it's a butt joint in the back. Right. All boards are probably cut with hand tools, and there's just nails right through to hold the back in place. And in the front right here, the only complicated cut is this rabbit, which allows them to nail through the side into the front. This is one piece. Now, I could actually make a whole new front, but I think it would be nice if we try to straighten this break out take all the undulation out of it, make it a flat surface so we can glue a piece on there and see if we can blend it in. Sounds pretty straightforward. All right, so to do that, I'm gonna use my plane. So that's nice and flat. We'll check it with a piece of wood here. Joint looks pretty good. Yeah, it looks straight to me. All right, so I'll put a rough mark for the length right here. Mm -hmm. And I want to get the depth of this to match down there, so I just take it, bring it over here, mark that, and now I go from this point down to nothing. All right, so now I'll just connect some dots there and cut it with a handsaw. We're going to make it a little oversized and then fine tune it all later. So now what I want to do is I want to mark the thickness for this front right here. So I'm going to put it on. I'm going to slide it over, making this edge even with the back edge of the face. Put it on there like that. I'm going to take a rough measurement and draw a line, the thickness that I want. Right there. Bring that down. There's my straight line, and I'll cut this piece right here. And to cut it, I'm going to lay my straight edge on it. All right. You're going to cut it with that? Yeah, I'm going to score it a few times, break through the grain, and hopefully the piece will be what we need. Okay, and there's our piece. Let's try it out, see how it fits. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Looks flush to me. Okay. So now I'm just going to glue it, and we can put the piece on and clamp it. All right, while that's drying, we'll put the patch on the other one. Okay, so now this piece that was left over from the other side, we're going to put it right in there, like that. Right. We're going to mark that angle, and then we'll cut it. Okay. So now score it lightly, because that blade will want to wander with the grain. Keep it up and down straight. Yep. All right, now let's see how it fits. Lay All that right. on there. Set it in place. Yeah. Not bad. I think we're ready to glue it. All right. That's good. We want to get all that wood, right? That all showing. Right. Yeah. Yep. Good. All right. Let's get the piece, lay it in there, and we'll clamp it. Now keep it flush on the back. Yep, on the back. Yep. There. Yep. Flush all on. lined up. Good. Okay. And we push it in a little. All right, so while the glue is drying, I want to give it as much time as possible to set up and dry. 
You complained about the draw sticking a little bit, so we'll hit the bottom of those with a plane. Keep the plane at a slight angle back this way, and I'll adjust this back a little bit so we don't take too much. Across the front. Down the side. All right, so that's good. Now I want to lubricate the bottom of the drawer with some soap. A bar soap? Yeah, that's an old trick they used to do years ago. They used to put soap on anything that slide because it's a wood to wood connection. Mm -hmm. And it actually makes it slide easier. Who would have thought? So Tommy, could we have put in metal slides here? Well, we would have had to rework the drawers themselves or actually build new boxes. And this is a really a cost-effective way to save money and make the drawers work. And allows us to keep the originals, which yep. we're looking for. Exactly. All right, so the glue is almost ready. But I, before I remove the clamps, I want to try to match this profile right here in the edge with this new piece. I'm going to use my plane first just to even it up on the edge. Just take this little bit right here and use a rasp and take it down. Work my way down to it. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Right, now we'll do the top edge. Now we'll take the clamps off. See if we can fine tune this one. So now we want to match this profile right here and return it down across the top. To do that, I'm going to have to draw a reference line so we'll know where I want to stop it, which is going to be right there. So now I want to remove this material here. Now, I can't use this plane right here because the blade doesn't come all the way out to the edge because I want to use a straight edge to guide my plane. So I'm going to use this plane right here, a rabbiting plane, or also known as a shoulder plane. And that will allow me to put a straight edge on the draw where I want the plane to go, and I can put the plane right against it and plane off the wood, and I'll have a nice straight cut. To smooth out the edges, I'll just hit them with some 220 grit sandpaper. All right, Kristen, once that prime is dry, if you can get some paint and paint it, they'll blend right in. Sounds good. We have some of the paint in the basement, actually. Fantastic. So this looks incredible, and I mean, the drawers pull so much smoother. Right. How often do I have to reapply the soap? Well, it depends on how often you use the drawers. Usually two, three, four years later, you might need a little bit of soap, so here's some soap if you need it. <laughs> Thanks, Tommy. I'm sure I'm going to need that. All right. All right. Well, I'm glad I could help. All right. Thank you so much. Looks amazing. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button to make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.